So in a previous lecture, we talked about the relationship between elasticities and marginal effects. And we said that basically, if you know the marginal effect, you can calculate the elasticity. And if you know the elasticity, you can calculate the marginal effect. There are different ways to measure the effect of x on y. And we actually, we presented this table where we summarize the formulas for the marginal effects and the elasticities. And, you know, basically for each of the models that we've talked about, the linear model, the quadratic model, the log-log model, the level-log model, and the log-level model, we can calculate marginal effects and elasticities. Okay, so this was the theory. And today, you know, we're going to apply these uh, concepts in the specific context of, um, of an example. So let's write that down. So here what we're talking about is an example for elasticities and marginal effects. And so these are elasticities. And marginal effects. And this is an example. Yeah. So, the model, the example that we have has to do with uh, modeling the effect of house characteristics on prices. So, this is the model that was estimated. That's the intercept. Uh, we also had as explanatory variables the log of the lot size, you know, the size of the lot where uh, you had the house the size of the house measured in square feet and the other variable was the number of bedrooms and so I think that I've talked about these type of models before these are these type of models are called um, hedonic models okay so this is a model that was estimated so to be complete with the presentation of um, regression results in equation form, we need the standard errors. Uh, underneath the uh, coefficients. Yeah, so the R square, 0.64, which is pretty good. And 88, the value of the statistic, 50.42, is a p-value less than 0 0.01. Okay, so the model is useful for prediction. Now, before we look at interpretations, um, you know, I want to um, emphasize uh, well, I want to make a couple of comments. So notice that in this model, we have a model where we have a log-log relationship between the log of the price and the lot size, and also a log-log relationship between price and uh, square footage. And we have a log-level relationship between the log of price and the number of bedrooms. Okay, so the point here is that you can estimate the model where actually we have, um, you know, these different types of relations that before we had discussed them separately. You know, we were talking about, we talk about a log-log model and then a log-level model. But actually here you can see that within the same model, you can have these different type of, of, of relations. Okay, so remember here the point is we're trying to see how is that we go from elasticities to marginal effects within the context of these models. So let's first focus on the effect of house size on house price. So the first question is going to be calculate the effect um, of house size, which is measured in square feet. On house price okay. 
okay and this is measured in thousands of dollars so those are the units okay so calculate the effect of house size on uh, on house price you know using marginal effects and in a second I'll discuss that so that's that's the question now the calculation of that effect is going to be for a specific type of house when the price of a house is 150,000 and the size is 2,000 square feet okay so that's that's the question now here the idea is that we need to use marginal effects okay instead of using elasticities okay so let's go back and let's see what is that we estimated so what we're talking about is the effect of um, the house size, the square footage, on price. So we already have estimated a 0.70 value. So and that's going to be our beta 2 hat coefficient. So we already have this beta 2 hat coefficient with 0.70. And notice since we estimated that log log model, that's an elasticity. So the interpretation was, or is, is that a 1% increase in house size is predicted to increase house price by 0.70 percent that's kind of what that result is telling us is predicted to increase house size by 0.70 percent Okay, so we have the elasticity. Now, again, so this is one way in which we can measure the effect of house size on house price. The other way is using the actual units. So house size is measured in square feet and um, house price is measured in dollars. And here I had an error. House price by 0.70%. Okay, so in order for us to answer that question, we need to calculate the marginal effect Okay, and if we go back to the formula, we have a log log model And you know, we know that elasticity is just the coefficient and hit the marginal effect It should be the coefficient times y divided by x. Now notice that here. I'm calling it beta 1 and in the example, I'm calling it beta 2 because here we only had one coefficient, okay? So hopefully that doesn't cause any confusion because here the relationship between log of y and log of x was measured at that beta 1. But in a, a multiple linear regression model, of course, we're going to have several explanatory variables and several coefficients. So for our specific example, then the marginal effect is going to be beta 2 times... Um, so again, I'm going to write it down the formula. So it's beta 1 over y over x, but we have to apply it for a specific context. So it should be beta 2 hat times price, and it should be divided by square feet. So then it should be 0 0.70 times 150,000. Those are the units, and divide by 2,000 square feet okay so and that would give us 0 0.0, 0, 0 and I'm gonna put up, move up this thing 0 0.0525 so this is thousands dollars so if we were to transform it to dollars we have to multiply times a thousand so in terms of dollars it's going to be 52.5 dollars 
so that's the marginal effect okay so again yeah, for the interpretation here this is a marginal effect so we will say that the effect of an additional square feet on the price of a house is $52.5 and of an additional square feet on the price of a house is $52.5 and of course this effect is a specific point so this is when the price of the house price of the house when the price of the house um, is a hundred and fifty thousand dollars and the size is two thousand square feet. Oh, let me delete this thing. It's two thousand. square feet okay so as you can see here you know we estimated this elasticity and we were able to go to the marginal effect and hopefully you know this reminds you that both the elasticities and the marginal effect are concept a specific point in that curve okay so this marginal effect it works a specific point you know from a um, Apply point of view, you know, one way to think about this marginal effect is if you are thinking about, you know, maybe adding, uh, making some addition, you know, to a house that you already have. So that would be the additional effect in, in price. I mean, that's kind of like a practical way to think about it. But of course, it can also be used to compare, you know, two houses of, of, of different sizes. So that's one way to, to think about this thing. So the second so that's the first example. Now the second example, um, uh, you know, I'm going to be using another coefficient that the coefficient related to the number of bedrooms. So that we look at what's the effect of the number of bedrooms on the, on the price of the house. Again, so if we think about this model, this is a, a, a log level model. Remember the interpretation was that an additional number of bedrooms increases the price uh, of the house by approximately 3.7%. Uh, so that's interpretation, and we'll start from that one. So from that um, kind of semi-elasticity, the question is going to be to calculate the marginal effect and um, also, you know, like the pure elasticity. Okay, so let's focus on that coefficient, which I'm going to be calling it beta 3. And let's write down our question. So the second question is calculate the marginal effect and the elasticity for the effect of bedrooms for the effect of bedrooms on house prices. Okay, so and again, let's start with the coefficient with what we know. So we have this beta three coefficient, zero point thirty seven, and based on the interpretation of log level models, the way that we interpret that coefficient is that an additional bedroom an additional bedroom increases the price of the house the 
by 0 0.037 times 100%, which is 3.7%. Okay, so okay, so that's what we have, and the question is about the marginal effect. So let's go to the log level model, to the summary. So here we have a log level model. See the way that we interpret our coefficient. So, I mean, we use this approximation because that coefficient is uh, below the absolute value is less than 0 0.10. So the marginal effect is the coefficient times a specific value for the dependent variable. And the elasticity is the coefficient times a specific value for the explanatory variable. Okay. So <clears throat> for that, you know, the bedrooms on house prices, we're going to be assuming, um, so let's calculate it, the marginal effect first. So the marginal effect is going to be beta 3 times price. Okay, so let's calculate that marginal effect when the price is 300,000 because we need a specific price. So it should be 0 0.37 times 300. And that will give us 11.1 thousand. Okay. So basically that is telling us, again, so this is a marginal effect. So then the way to interpret that coefficient, we can, well, I mean, that, that value, that marginal effect, is that when the price of the house of the house is 11.1 thousand uh, when the price of the house is 300 thousand dollars sorry yeah okay let me see It's 300,000. Um, an additional bedroom will increase the price by 11.1 thousand. An additional bedroom is predicted to increase, but I just, you know, to save time, I'm just going to say that an additional bedroom will increase. And remember, this is will increase the average price of the house. But I'm, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm getting out all of those details. But hopefully, you might remember always that that's the case. So we'll increase the price of the house of a house by eleven point one thousand dollars. Okay, so hopefully that's what you have in mind. So that's a marginal effect. Um, now for the elasticity, again, based on that formula, the elasticity will be the coefficient times the specific value of x of, of the explanatory variable. So square footage, and then, sorry, number of bedrooms. I just got confused. So here we have bedrooms. Okay, so let's calculate that elasticity when the house has four bedrooms. Okay, so then this would be equal to 0 0.037 times 4, and that gives us 0 0.48. Okay, so again, this is an elasticity. So how do we interpret an elasticity? So, the, so we can say that when a house has four bedrooms, a 1% increase in the number of bedrooms in the number of bedrooms increases the price of the house by 0 0.14 a okay. percent increases the 
price of the house by 0.14 a percent okay so that's the correct interpretation so remember that's an elasticity so this interpretation is correct and I think you know I kind of like an example because then you can see that in some cases it makes more sense to use elasticities in some other cases it makes more sense to use semi elasticities and in some other cases make sense to use marginal effects so it depends on the specific application if you look at this latest interpretation of the elasticity of the number of bedrooms on the price of the house, actually, it's not very intuitive because, um, you know, when you are trying to interpret looking at the effect of an additional bedroom, I mean, to think about a 1% increase in the number of bedrooms is not very intuitive. You know, this is, again, one of those cases where the math is correct, um, the interpretation is correct, but probably is not that intuitive or, or, or that useful. Probably here, you know, in this context, probably, you know, using that semi-elasticity, the way that we interpret that initial coefficient, the effect of an additional bedroom in the price of the cows in terms of percentage, or this marginal effect, we're looking at the um, effect of uh, an additional bedroom in the price of the house in dollars also makes sense. But when we're looking at this elasticity, uh, again, this is correct, but a 1% increase in the number of bedrooms is not very intuitive, okay? So hopefully um, you, know, you can see how you can go from um, elasticities to uh, marginal effects just using those formulas in that summary table that we had talked about uh, previously.